Hi, I'm Tommy Well with DallasNews.com. We continue our year in review coverage here at DallasNews.com. This time, it's the best in DFW new restaurants for 2014. We brought in our restaurant critic, Leslie Brenner, to talk more about it. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Was 2014 a good year for restaurants? It was a good year. It was, it was an interesting year. There was um, not a tremendous amount of creativity in terms of the new restaurants that opened, but there were some that were really, really terrific, and those are the ones that we're celebrating in this list of the best of of DFW. Let's get to them. Let's first start off uh, with the good stuff. The restaurant of the year. Who is that? Restaurant of the year is Gemma. And Gemma opened actually the day after Christmas in 2013. So it was too late to include in last year's yes list. But it's a, a wonderful, very personal, very warm and friendly restaurant um, on on Henderson Avenue. It was opened by Allison Yoder and her husband Stephen Rogers, who's the chef. And they've just created a wonderful space. It feels great to be there. Uh, Stephen Rogers cooking is um, has just gotten better and better over the course of the year. There's a wonderful pastry chef, Ooh, Stephanie Childress, okay. and a terrific wine list, one of the best in town, okay. that Allison Yoder has put together. All right, I like those pastries. Okay, uh, that's the rest one of the year. Let's get into the rest. Uh, let's uh, talk about, these are in no particular order, by the way. What else? So what's next on your list? Well, they're actually in alphabetical Al order. Okay, so they're, but they're, <laughs> they're not they're not ranked in any okay. way. After restaurant of the year, they're just all wonderful. Okay. These are the best. I was best thinking of, no particular the, as in, you know, rank, but you're right, they are okay. in alphabetical order. Okay, let's, let's start off the list. Okay, so after that we have um, what what until very recently has been called AF&B, now it's called American Food and Beverage. Uh -huh. It's in Fort Worth, and the chef there is Jeff Harris. He's um, He's been one of one of the area's best chefs for um, a number of years, um, and, and what he's doing at at American Food and Beverage is modern Texas cuisine mm -hmm. and doing a wonderful job at it. It's a very welcoming place. It's it's fun. It's in the um, West Seventh District. Perfect. And it, it's just go there. Terrific brunch. Terrific dinner. Really fun place. Okay, and a good location too. What's next? Um, after that, there's actually another modern Texas cuisine spot, which is pretty exciting, and it's called Harvest, okay. and it's very farm to tabley. Um, the owners have establish some really strong relationships with local farmers and there's a very talented young new chef called named Andrea Shackleford and she's doing some really really nice things it's her appetizers are especially wonderful All right. after that we have um, we have Lockhart Smokehouse in Plano now this is the second installment of Lockhart Smokehouse you may be familiar with the one in Bishop Arts mm -hmm. They opened a second one up in Plano, and it's even better. Really? Um, in fact, I'd say considerably better than okay. the first one. It's fantastic. And it's it's been sort of a funny trend this year. There's been a lot of restaurateurs who are opening second branches um, of their restaurants, and and actually three of them on this list are better than the original restaurants. And, okay. and, and I wouldn't normally include new outposts on a list like this, but these are really standouts. So this at this one, um, which is in um, old downtown Plano, which is fun in, in and mm -hmm. of itself, Everything's fantastic, and you know, I was afraid to go back. I, I reviewed it, I think, in April, um, and I was afraid to go back because I thought, oh, it can't possibly be as good as it was. And I and I went back last week, and it was everything was spectacular. And what's the next restaurant? Macero, okay. which is Miko Rodriguez's restaurant that he opened this year in Inwood Village, and. He had first opened a restaurant called Mr. Macero in Knox Henderson, and then he opened one on Henderson called Macero Miguel. So this is sort of the, his third um, iteration, and it's the one that by far works the best. It's um, it's it's sort of Tex-Mex and more traditional Mexican food, really good menu, excellent service, dining room that feels like a, a good place to be, and it, it, it just works. Nice, all right. Whenever I go to Tex-Mex places, I always, uh, I fill up on chips and salsa so I can't enjoy the rest of the meals. <laughs> I don't know if you're, you're probably not the same way, but uh, that's how I roll when I go to Tex-Mex. Okay, next restaurant. Next on my list is Neighborhood Services, another one of these second outposts, and this is Nick Badavinas's restaurant, and he opened in Addison. Now his original is on Lovers Lane, and there's been um, there's also a bar and grill that he opened since then. But this is like another a duplication more of the flagship. It's it's even more comfortable, 
and welcoming, a little bit less noisy than the original. The food is terrific. Haven't reviewed it yet, but it's um, it's just, it feels like a place where you really want to be. Okay, next restaurant is something that was hugely anticipated. It was, um, I mean, it seems like it was all people could talk about forever, and it's Pecan Lodge, okay. which used yeah. to be, as you know, a stand in the Dallas Farmer's Market. Right. And then they opened a full-fledged restaurant in Deep Ellum and it's so much fun. It's, it's, re it's really a great place to, um, to bring friends from out of town or just when you get that barbecue craving. The brisket is absolutely killer, and um, there can be lines. I was gonna ask you about that. There can be <laughs> lines, but if you go with friends or family, you can skip the line if you um, order a what they call a trough or a family platter, really? which is a big $65 assortment of all the different smoked meats. And that's a good tip. It's a good tip. Thank and, you for that. And, and the other thing that's nice about it is you can actually get a nice bottle of wine, and they uh -huh. and they have beautiful Riedel glasses, and so it's just kind of a different barbecue right, experience. From uh, downtown to, or the farmer's market to Deep Ellum. Exactly. Okay, who's next? Who's next is our friends at Proof and Pantry, mm -hmm. the, um, the restaurant in One Arts Plaza. Um, where I actually had to dress like a mummy to go review it. I remember that story. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, it's really, it's one of the most fun and engaging restaurants of the year. The chef, Kyle McClellan, is one of the most interesting chefs we have um, right now. And um, cocktails are great. Um, it can take a little bit long between courses, so be warned, but it's, but it's really fun. Okay, and, uh, and that was Halloween, correct? Uh, on the day of Halloween, or was it before Halloween? It was on the day of on Halloween. On the day of Halloween, but, okay. Yes. That's why you're dressed like a mummy. All right, two more. Uh, next to last? The next to last is San Salvaje by Stephen Piles, and this is a wonderful restaurant from one of our most impressive and important chefs, Stephen Piles. And at this restaurant, which is um, in the Dallas Arts District, he explores the, the cooking of Latin America, and his really creative, really inventive takes on these cuisines from Peru and Chile and Mexico and, and Brazil and um, just really all over Latin America. They're so much fun. They're so interesting and so delicious. And it's um, really, the, the food is really impressive and, and I highly recommend all it. Right, uh, good recommendation there. And finally, who's the last one? Finally, we have a restaurant called Stock and Barrel, mm -hmm. which is John Stevens' new restaurant in the Bishop Arts District. And it's really, it's a great dining room. Um, it's, it's always busy. It's kind of big and bustling, and there's a wonderful open kitchen where you can take a seat at the, at the chef's counter. It's a lot of fun, really good burger, really good schnitzel, um, and it's uh, good cocktails. It just, it just it's, it's, it's a really fun destination in Bishop Arts. All right, sounds good. I'll, I'll grab a burger from there sometime. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. We appreciate it for the best in DFW, the, the new restaurants in 2014. And thanks again for that tip for Pecan Lodge. Oh, I, sure. You know, I'm going to take advantage of that. <laughs> and here's to uh, another year of great uh, restaurants in 2015. Uh, I can't wait to try all the new places. All right, we're going to hear all about it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Tommy.